Welcome Aries, this is the year 2021 and let's look and see what is coming up in business and career for you Aries. So um, this is the first six months, so we have January, February, March, April, May and June. So um, the first six months, we're going to look at the first six months, then we look at the um, second six months. So in the month of January, something is coming to an end Aries. So this is about transition, some sort of a situation problem issues at the workplace uh, career wise some sort of a trans transformation is coming in for you Aries in the month of January so business wise an end is coming in to the financial flow some sort of a problem some sort of an issue um, that is going to be coming up and transparent and uh, an end is going to be coming in to your financial flow so whatever is happening Aries so this is where you're going to be realizing that in January, some sort of a financial stability, instability is coming up in January. Um, as we look at the month of February, we have the energy of the Angman. And in the month of February, you're waiting, waiting for um, some sort of information, some sort of a documentation, whatever is happening and transpiring. This energy of the Angman, it could be work. You're waiting to um, get a job or some sort of a, uh, issues that is going on at the workplace you're waiting for this to resolve and that sort of a situation so Aries I see a whole lot of problems so, um, and you are in limbo in the month of February so whatever is happening and transpiring the month of February is going to be bringing back some sort of a lingering situation that was transpiring in the year before justice came up in the month of March for you Aries whatever that was uh, um, happening justice is here in the month of March is it good is it bad justice is coming up on uh, um, and uh, um, um, you women you women are going to be having some sort of a problem some sort of an issue so you Aries women uh, yes the queen is going to be coming in to some sort of a problem um, it can be um, the um, <clears throat> the uh, um, um, king and queen is going to be coming up in some sort of a problem so this is the situation where we are seeing that uh, it is the energy of the king so um, Aries men um, justice is going to be coming up on you in the month of uh, uh, March so you got to be aware and and realize what whatever that was transpiring because in the month of January um, ending come in in the month of February you're waiting for some sort of outcomes and in the month of March I see justice coming up on you businessmen and men on a whole if you're a manager some sort of a problem in the company um, you had the, the year 2020 and coming in there is justice coming up so um, you have major, major arcana, um, January, February, and March for your Aries men and um, businessmen, um, and also for the rest of the people, but especially businessmen in March, justice is going to be coming down on your businessmen. As we look at the April, May, and June, we have the energy um, in the month of April, May, and June that has to do with... Uh, um, a collaboration so um, some of your business um, people or some sort of a collaboration at the work floor is going to be coming to an end in the month of January because that is collaboration okay you're collaborating or some sort of a network some sort of a group is going to be coming to an end and um, this collaboration is going to be ending I see that some of you are going to be trying in April to regroup and to rebalance out a situation um, in order to create some sort of a financial balance for yourself. So what something ended in January, in April, I see you a men are trying to regroup, whether you're a manager, whether you're a businessman, um, whatever is transparent. But for the rest of you, I see some sort of a collaboration where Aries people are going to be collaborating with other people in order to create some sort of a financial stability. In the month of April, some sort of unexpected money is going to be coming in, coming back. Oh, however, this is happening in Transpire. I see um, some sort of unexpected uh, um, money um, is going to be coming in. Some sort of a transformation um, could be happening where you um, uh, businessmen could create uh, some sort of a new financial stability for yourself. So... 
um, the pure power of the heart. So um, this is the world um, is your oyster. Okay. So some of you, you're going to be really receiving some sort of a new start. Um, it could be businessmen could be receiving some sort of a financial help and it's going to be creating some sort of a new start. But for you, Aries, the world is your oyster. Um, the best month that is going to be coming up is uh, um, the collaboration, financial collaboration that is going to be starting in April and in May. Some sort of a, um, a um, money is going to be coming in. It could be bonus, it could be payout, or it could be unexpected money from your business is going to be coming in and they're going to be realizing this. So, so um, let's look at June. June, you businessmen or men, 50 years and older, they're going to be coming down on you. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, men 50 years and older, they're going to be coming down on you. Um, you men um, could be having some sort of an issue, a legal issue, problems and legal issue. They are finding out exactly what was happening and what has transpired. They're finding out the truth about some sort of a situation um, that was happening and transpiring and I see truths are going to be coming out. So whatever that was happening and transpiring, I see you Aries uh, are going to be coming in uh, um, some sort of a, a problem. Some of you are going to be using this uh, passionate uh, um, um, and skill set in order to create some sort of a balance in your financial world. Okay, so a lot of you could be expanding to expand out in new avenues to do what business and that is going to be good um, for some of you. So the first six months is not as bad as you thought it would be. Some sort of a transition is going to be coming in um, where a lot of you um, could be resolving some sort of an issue that was going on, some sort of a issues with a tax company, that sort of a thing balancing out business proposition um collaborating with people um in the second quarters and that collaboration is going to be uh, creating some sort of a wealth uh, for you and uh, this is going to be bringing you in a new cycle so be aware of this and um be understanding of what is happening around you so you have major arcanas and uh, transition some sort of a transition and ending um, will come up in the month of January and this period, okay? Because it's a major arcana um, that is uh, bringing in endings, but also balancing other things around you. So be aware of this. So, um, as we look at the second half of the year, it's going to be very, very busy. There is no question about it. Second half of the year is going to be very busy. I see a cycle could be ending for you businessmen in the second half of the year. So be aware of this. In the month of July, we have an earth energy. This earth energy and this earth element in um, the month of July is really coming up. That is going to be bringing some sort of a situation. So justice come in and bring an end to a situation that was happening and transpiring. People are aware and people are seeing the truth and is aware of what was happening and what was transpiring. So a lot of you were dealing with some sort of a complication and some sort of a problem um, that was created in your world. And what we see is that a lot of you, especially um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, um, young people, some ending is coming for you, young people, and a whole lot of burdens is going to be created um, or ending for some of you young people. So when we look at the month of July, it's an earth energy that is bringing back some form of balance in the month of July. And whatever that was transpiring in the first six months of the year in July is when balance is going to be coming in. So be aware of this. OK, so you're going to be uh, your frequency, everything, your energy is going to be rebalanced. You have uh, tried to create new things in the first six months and in July is when you're finally going to be having that heaviness of release from you. As we look at August, we have fire and fire in August, the champion of the creator. So whatever is happening and transpiring, I see that um, justice could be coming down on um, people between the ages of eight, um, 18 and 45. Whatever is happening and transpiring, um, some sort of an ending could be coming in 
for the people between the age of 18 and 45. Your passion is reached a boiling point. The urgency to face forward and burn it all down. Okay, so whatever is transpiring, I see you, you Aries are going to be facing a whole lot of challenges um, when it comes to the third quarter because the third quarter is when uh, endings is going to be a whole lot of endings is going to be coming in and you areas are going to be really burning um you know you're taking down it's as if you were young Aries between the age of 18 and 45 is saying if i'm going down everyone is going down and i see that um you're going to be taking down a sagittarian also so i see you young Aries, whatever that has happened and transpiring um you're going to be taken down because you're going to be having a whole lot of burdensome issue um, especially when um, you go to the month of uh, uh, September, you are dealing with uh, a whole lot of burdens, which is uh, um, exhaustion. So, if I, you know, you Aries people between the age of 18 and 45, be aware of what is coming up in this third period, because I see you could be exhausted, stressed out, uh, overwork, and a whole lot of issue and problems, uh, and uh, um, maybe your legal issues and problems is going to be um, ending in the third quarter. So this third quarter is showing up where balance is going to be returned because justice came out in March and in the third quarter, balance is going to be returned and you Aries have so much issue and problems and situation that was happening and transpiring. And I see... Um, a whole lot of you Aries are going to be having to deal with a whole lot of issues and problems uh, in the month, a whole lot of work coming at you in the month of September, or a whole lot of you are exhausted in the month of September, a whole lot of problems, all of the city to a whole lot of work could be coming up. So exhaustions could be here. So you got to be aware. Then we found out uh, as we leave this quarter, you are dealing with uh, um the king the knight this person is a taurus virgo or a capricorn um whoever this um person is is between the ages of 18 and 45 and you aries are going to be dealing with this person okay um this person um um is the queen so in the month of october you men are going to be dealing with a queen of uh, pentacles okay now this is a water of earth water of earth this is a woman um this woman is um it can be a taurus virgo or capricorn and it is coming up as a capricorn woman and you men justice is coming down on you men because of something you have done to a capricorn woman so you could have used a capricorn woman information in order to acquire wealth and stability for yourself and this is a long drawn out lawsuit because I see that you're trying to, um, you know, uh, you know, pour out your tear out to this person to say, you know, I'm sorry for what I've done and that sort of a thing. But whoever this um, lady is, this lady has already made up her mind that she no longer wants to have any communication or any connection with you. So this is a, 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 a older lady. This is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn woman. And this lady is um, really bringing an end to, to a situation, bringing an end to a situation to what you have done and what you have created and how you have created and created a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue and realizing what has been happening and transpiring. So you are bringing an end. Um, this lady is bringing an end to the situation and is really taking back her power. So I don't know what kind of, kind of conflicts that is going to be coming up between you and a Capricorn woman. But this Capricorn woman is going to be standing her ground in the month of uh, October and say no. Um, so I see this woman is really standing her ground and really taking back her power, okay? So I see the Earth of Fire in the month of November. The Earth of Fire has to do with some sort of a creative situation. The Earth of Fire, I see the stories where a Capricorn woman is going to be having a start, whether or not some of you. And she's taking back her power from an older Aries Leo, Sagittarius man, and a younger Aries Leo, um, Aries, Aries Leo, Sagittarian person. So um, some sort of an issue, some sort of a situation. And I see 
that this Capricorn woman is really standing her ground. So it could be a supervisor or it could be a manager. The opening and wondering curiosity of the flaming of your exposition of the world. And this lady is going to be as having a new start and is going to be standing her ground. So I see some sort of a new start is going to be coming up. And um, some sort of a message, a young, uh, you young Aries are going to be waiting for some sort of a message in the month of November. But a lot of people, if you're changing jobs, November is going to be the month to change jobs. So then we look at the last energy um, of the year for you guys. And we have the energy of uh, um, the nine of wands. What is the nine of wands? What is this energy? The nine of one energy is the um, uh, mutual wisdom that is happening. The mastery you have worked hard, um, so hard to achieve whatever you were looking for. And I see a lot of you could be achieving and accomplish a whole lot in this year. Allow a playfulness to make its way into all the areas of your life. And you will be amazed at how much you can accomplish in the year 2021, okay? So it's about um, looking at 2021 as, you know, going through a lot of problem, going through a lot of issue, but yet uh, still coming out of this year, accomplishing a whole lot. So um, however this is going to be transpiring, I see that you are really um, going to be trying to accomplish um, things. A lot of you are going to be dealing with a Sagittarian person, whoever the Sagittarian person, a lot of work, um, especially when you get to um, um, the second quarter and the fourth quarter, a lot of work, a lot of uh, work that is going to be coming at you and a lot of uh, situation. Looking for a job, it's going to be May and uh, um may and november so if you're looking for a job use may and november and this is going to be good so whatever is happening and transpiring this looks like a good wonderful year for you aries um if you would like to see the extended of this reading please fo follow us to the other side um the other side you can uh, receive the extended of uh, this reading for the rest, I'm wishing you guys really a wonderful, powerful year because it's going to be your best months. It's going to be um, May and November. May and November. There is so much. Um, April is, it, it could be good because if you're looking for a job, April is going to be good. For, for the rest is May and November. I got to go. Please thumbs up. Thumbs up these videos. This year is going to be a fantastic year. Namaste. Until next time.